This is Teresa from eLearning with some tips on using Blackboard for the remote and online course. In this video, we'll take a look at how to access and navigate Blackboard, organize your learning materials, add content using the recommended methods, and use the recommended tools for communication and facilitating learning activities. Blackboard is the official learning management system used at UMass Boston. It provides a secure framework for content delivery, communication, and grading of student work, both through its native features, such as threaded discussions, announcements, assignments and tests, as well as through the integration with a number of third-party tools, such as VoiceThread, Echo 360, and others. For best results with Blackboard and supportive tools, it's recommended to use a laptop or desktop computer with Chrome and Firefox browsers, both downloaded, kept up to date, and used interchangeably for authoring course content. You will need the latest version of Microsoft Office, which instructors can get for free through the IT Software Office. You can access Blackboard directly by going to umb.umassonline.net with your UMass Boston credentials, the same username and password as your UMass Boston email account. Blackboard course shells are automatically created for all courses scheduled in WISER, and those are available to instructors well ahead of the start of the semester. If you have taught with Blackboard before, you can reuse another semester's content by copying the content to a new course shell. You can either copy the content yourself, or you can request to have our office copy the content for you. Both the content request form and the instructions for copying the content are available on our website and in the description of this video. Your courses are listed under My Courses. To make it easier to navigate through your courses, hover over the My Courses link. Click the gear icon. Choose the Group by Term option. You can drag and drop the current term category to the top. Be sure to submit to save your changes. When you go back to My Courses, you will notice the current term category of courses listed at the top. You can use the toggle link to collapse the course list from the previous terms. Once you enter a course, you will use the course menu to navigate through the content areas of the course, set up learning materials, and use the communication tools. Your students rely on the course menu to navigate through your course. Your course shell comes with a course menu template that was designed to help student navigation within a course and by providing a consistent layout and uniform look across courses. The template also makes it easy for instructors to populate the course with content by following the pre-designed layout. While the instructor role in the course allows you to add and rename areas on the template, we recommend that you do not change the layout of the current template. You will also use the course management area below the course menu to access a set of tools available only to the instructor that enable accessing student work for grading, copying content, and setting up groups. Please note that the course menu collapses on small screens or resized browser windows. When that happens, hover over the left-hand side area and click the arrow that appears to retrieve the course menu. We recommend expanding your browser window to its full size for the best experience with the course and using a large screen monitor if possible. The home link is the landing page for the course. It contains the university branding and the official course name for a consistent look across courses. 
It provides a set of useful modules for students, including the to-do module, which lists due dates that you can set in your graded assignments. The home page also provides quick access to tools available to students, such as LinkedIn Learning. Students can add additional modules for themselves to help with productivity. The Start Here area is the recommended place for posting your syllabus and all other introductory course materials that help orient the students to the course. This is where you can add a welcome message, a course tour, link to a student introductions activity, and other introductory materials. The weekly sessions and course materials are content areas that you can use to organize your learning materials and activities. We recommend you create a folder per week and keep all the weekly materials contained in each folder to make it easier for students to access everything they need to complete the week successfully. Course materials is an additional content area that you can use for making available supportive learning materials that do not belong in a weekly folder. This area is hidden to students by default. Notice the rectangular icon with a line through it next to it. This indicates it's hidden from students. Be sure to unhide this area if you intend to use it. To show a hidden menu link, hover over it and select Show Link. You can repeat this process when you wish to hide a link, and you'll use the Hide Link option instead. To add content to your course, make sure that your edit mode is set to On. Then navigate to a content area and use the menu bar at the top to access the various tools available. First, create a weekly folder to host your weekly learning materials. Click on Build Content from the menu at the top. Select Content Folder. Enter a descriptive name to help with course terminology and navigation. You can enter more details in the text box below. Be sure to allow students to view the folder, check the box to track views if desired, and optionally, you can set availability dates. When you're finished, click Submit. Click on a folder link to add content to it. Clicking on a folder link takes you to the content area where you can group together all information needed for this weekly session. For example, we can create an item for our weekly objectives. To do this, click Build Content and select Item. Enter a name for the item in the name box and add the weekly objectives to the text box. Alternatively, you can browse for a file on your computer. Click the radio button to make it viewable and optionally you can track views and enter date and time restrictions. Click Submit when you are done. To edit an item, hover over the item name and click on the drop-down arrow that appears. Select Edit, make the necessary changes, and click Submit. To reorganize content in a content area, hover over the item to move and click and drag it to the new location. My Grades is the area that lists student grades and instructor comments to the learning activities that you set up in your course. My Grades is populated through the columns in the Grade Center. It is important to hide Grade Center columns that you are not using and list the columns in chronological order to help students locate their grades and instructor comments. Students will access your instructor comments through a text bubble that appears next to a score. Announcements, links to announcements. 
Announcements is used to address the entire class with important information and class updates. Click Create Announcement to create an announcement. Enter a subject and message in the boxes that appear. Select whether the announcement should be date restricted or not. When you're done, click Submit. The Discussions link takes you to the central area for threaded discussion forums. This is where you can create discussion forums related to the weekly course topics. Students should have a place available in the course for each week's lesson, where they can reflect on the new lesson, ask questions, and communicate with their peers. The course template includes a default course question and answers forum, which we encourage you to keep in the course to provide students with a place to pose general course-related questions and to minimize the number of repetitive emails sent to your inbox. You are welcome to customize the message of the Q&A forum. You can do that by hovering over the discussion forum title and clicking the edit option. Enter the new text in the description box and click Submit. You can create a new discussion forum by clicking the Create Forum at the top of the Discussions page. Once you add a title and a question prompt, scroll down to enable grading. Also make sure to add a due date. The due date will appear to students in the to-do module on the home page and under My Grades, so it's important to set it through this designated option. The subscribe feature available on the forum page will enable you and your students to be notified by email when there are new posts. Make sure to allow subscriptions for your students when you create new forums and subscribe yourself to receive notifications. You can learn more about discussions through the resource provided in the video description. In addition to the tools available on the template, instructors can use the Assignments tool to receive written work, as well as the Tests tool to create timed assessments. Additional content areas can be added to the course menu to accommodate these activities. The web conferencing links allow you to access Blackboard, Collaborate, Ultra, and Zoom. These web conferencing tools are available to all UMass Boston faculty. The external email link is hidden from students. It allows you to email one, several, or all of your students with their UMass Boston email accounts. No records of these emails are kept in Blackboard. As you create content for your courses, it's important to be aware of accessibility best practices. Be sure to describe your URLs. Avoid click here text. Avoid use of scanned materials that aren't accessible to screen readers. Create and use only accessible PDFs. Include closed captions with video content transcripts and audio content. And use Ally to improve access. Learn more about accessibility best practices by visiting our eLearning Accessibility page. Be sure to download the Blackboard Quick Start Guide for help with using Blackboard. From topics such as accessibility to tools for teaching, we have an abundance of resources available to you. Also on our main e-learning website, you can conveniently book a consult with an instructional designer based on your need and our calendar availabilities. Thanks for watching.